Hey everybody, welcome back to Mining Modern. I'm Corbin Hustler and this is Genesis Wave Devotion. Uh, so you can see the game plan, I think it's probably pretty clear of what we got going on here. The plan is to cast Genesis Wave and the plan is to cast Genesis Wave for a lot of mana. Now of course, it will help if our opponent doesn't blind flip Delver. And so that that will help, we'll see. Um, obviously though, uh, I am I don't have a good track record when it comes to not blind flipping Delver, so that's for sure. I don't know about this matchup. Probably doesn't seem great. Our, uh, our Bird's Paradise has hit the can. Gonna need to draw a land here. Well, we're gonna get beat down by the Insectile Aberration. But, okay, we at least are gonna get the land out of this. If all goes well, excuse me, we'll be able to try to ramp into the Genesis Wave here. I kept the hand because it had the ability to go turn one Bird's, turn two E-Witness, get back to fetch land um, and sort of go from there. But when you're on the draw and your opponent blind flips Delver and has the fatal push, that's uh, that's kind of the god hand. And now it's just a non-counter spell. So probably just the god hand over there from our Grixis Delver opponent. Probably not much we're going to be able to do about it. And Utopia Sprawl, right on time, right when we cannot cast it profitably. Um, we could try to play around Remand here a little bit, I guess. Um, you know, if this resolves, we can attempt to cast the Eternal Witness anyways. We'll see. Okay, well, that's a start. We're just getting beat down. I'm sure we're in danger of just getting bolt snap bolted here. Alright, uh, I think we'll go for the E-Witness. Get back the land. So we have this primal, yep, we've been remanded, of course. Okay, so we have this primal command if we can get there, if we hit a land on our next turn, um, to try to bounce, I believe it cannot bounce creatures, right? Non-creature permanent, but we could try to gain seven life, uh, which might be relevant. We'll see, our opponents uh, use their mana perfectly every turn and have the blind flip delver, so that's, uh, that's how Grixis Delver wins. Yeah, thoughts scour, sure. Here comes something big, maybe. Or just hold up another counter spell. Alright, well, if they don't hit a land, they won't have another counter spell. Instead, it is a. We're gonna see. A Tassiger. They're just literal, literally on the nuts over there. Okay. We'll play the E-Witness here. Get back the land. Play the land. Play the birds. And pass the turn. Now, this doesn't look like a very good spot for us. We could very well just be dead. Opponent has five cards in hand, so I imagine we're dead. Yeah. I actually just don't think we ever really had a chance in this game. All right, we may as well block. It's not doing us any good sitting out here. Sure, we've been bolted down to three. Sure, we've been bolted to zero. Well, that was a very competitive game. Let's try again. Uh, that was a great draw for our opponent. Let's see if we can see if we can fight back a little bit here. We're going to be on the play this time around. Scuses seem good. Lightning bolts seem good. Um, things that seem not good. I mean, it all seems fine. The Oath and are probably cuttable. I'm going to cut a Primal Command here. As well as a Core Surge, kind of the slower stuff. Still need to make a cut, though. I feel like perhaps we can cut a Prime Time, because it's really expensive here. Maybe we'll just play one Scavenging News. We'll give this a shot. Probably not a great matchup for us, but that game won't tell us one way or another because I was I wasn't competitive. This this looks pretty decent though. We've got gents to wave anyways, and that is at least what we're here trying to do. Alright, get the Arbor Elf out here. Uh, so if we draw Utopia Sprawl, we can actually cast Garrick next turn, which would be great. Because we put the Sprawl in the forest, tap for two, untap it, tap for two more. Um, instead we're just gonna get lightning bolted. But that's fine.
All right, well, it wasn't a Delver this time around, so that's probably good news. This one looks like a remand. Well, there's not much to do here. Give it a shot. If it's a mana leak, it's a mana leak. We can eternal witness it back in theory. It is, of course, a mana leak. We'll not pay for it. Well, maybe our opponent will run out of it. He doesn't have a threat this time around, so maybe he'll run out of answers here and we can try to get something going. I wouldn't mind hitting a land. Alright, well, opponent thought scouring. Looks like here comes a delve thing. Tassiger. Oh, just Seer Vengeance. Okay. And without black mana, it won't be a creature. So we will get to resolve something here. Ooh. And Garrick's a pretty good one to resolve if we are going to resolve something. Now, we can't really do anything with the mana. Um, but making a beast seems mediocre, whereas that, that allows him to um, Lightning Bolt our Garrick to death here, whereas this place around that, and we can untap with Garrick and then have access to the mana. That's what, that's what I'm trying to do here. Okay, Pyromancer. All right, let's eternal witness. I guess we'll eternal witness back to Savage News. All right, well, let's see if we get a Savage News into play. Okay, well, this is good. Our opponent has allowed us to resolve a few things. Uh, we have mana open with Scavenger News to eat anything we need to if he goes for a Snapcaster. Um, yeah, I think I'll just wait. I could preemptively eat, say, the Lightning Bolt here. Maybe I will. Ooh, excuse me. I don't want to get to the end step. On my opponent's turn, and I go to activate Savage News, and then he responds with Snapcast or Lightning Bolt. So this might be a little better. He's definitely going to go off with his elemental. So he can only—he doesn't have enough to really get through Garrick yet, though, because even if he attacked with all three things, I'd block two of them. Okay, Batter Skull, huh? Didn't expect that one. It's probably pretty good. However, we can maybe attempt. I'd really like to draw Nick, though, so that would be the dream here. Uh, Utopia Sprawl, not quite the dream. It is playable, though. Um, so I could 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I just wait for 3. That's not very good. I think we just try to set up our mana again here. And if we can get another turn, we'll be in business. We'll just end up chump blocking this turn. That's fine. I could also make three, four, five, six, seven, just as way for four, uh, which I still don't think is better. I think I want to try to set it up for next turn. All right, so Arbor Elf in play here. He has only one creature for me to eat, so I can't get my Savage Juniors out of bolt range. But we do have plenty of blocks here for his team, uh, so we just have to worry. Well, obviously, if he has a counter spell, we're in trouble, but that's that's the biggest concern. I could also I could take this. I'm not going to though. Um, you know what? I may as well double block. Mess up his mana a little bit. And our scavenger news can eat etern eternal witnesses if we want to um, gain, to to get big. See what our opponent does here. If we get to untap and cast whatever we want, we can just genesis way for a million. That would certainly be pretty good. 
kind of unlucky we have the uh, the crater hook in hand, but. All right, so everyone has three, two cards in hand, I believe. And a Tassiger, huh? Yeah, two cards in hand. Well, I think we're just gonna have to go for it with the Genesis Wave. Because the blocking strategy isn't gonna work for much longer. We have got to the point of the game where we can make a lot of mana for Genesis Wave, and that, that is kind of the goal. Oh, this, okay, great. <laughs> Perfect. We can absolutely go off then, as it turns out. Okay, here we go. Hmm, another character, huh? That could be good. So playing this Garrick doesn't actually net me mana, so that doesn't really matter. Okay. All right, let's do it. See what happens happens here. Chance this way for seven. That feels pretty good. Okay. Well, could be worse. Could be better, probably, but could be worse. What else am I doing on this turn? Probably not much. Hmm. Do I, I, I mean, I could untap a little more? I make a little more mana? It doesn't seem that useful, really. Um... So maybe I just keep the big one, because it can better survive a hit. And we have Crater Hoof now next turn to um, to try to, to try to win the game. We drew a Lightning Bolt, huh? All right. Well, I guess I'm going to get punished for uh, choosing to not untap, not keep the one I can untap, but... Um, all in all, this is still probably fine. I'm going to go ahead and eat my internal witness now so it's out of bolt range. And because he actually went in on a sassier, it makes it very easy to just chump block with, um, you know, whatever we want to chump block with. Probably this wistful sulky, I imagine. That was a pretty unlucky. We don't have that many non-permanents non in the deck. All right, well, our opponent's going to gain a bunch of life here. That's the biggest problem. But if we get to untap, we might get to fight back in here. And he's obviously got the Fatal Push. He's, this has just got to be a horrendous matchup for us. I mean, it was an unlucky Genesis wave, I think. But this is also just not a good matchup. We could overrun the team, but we can't overrun and Crater Hoof. Is there one, two, three, four, five, six mana? Oh, I can play this. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can overrun and play Crater Hoof, give everything plus seven, plus seven in attack. The problem is that's not actually good enough to get through his stupid board. All right, first things first, we lightning bolt the Pyromancer. Got to get it off the field here. I think it's time to just start making beasts with Garrick. Opponent's thinking about what to do about this, little, you know, lightning bolt here. Looks like the answer is to activate Tassiger. Oh, interesting, okay. I don't want to give him any of those. That's the problem. I almost feel like giving him lightning bolts the least damaging. Yeah, 
Yeah, I guess I just give him lightning bolt. Doesn't feel very good. <laughs> but that's the one he can't cast either, so it's relevant for that. I'm gonna go ahead and fetch here because I don't want to draw all that forest. I wish I could play this Kessel Wolf run off the top. It'd be pretty good here. Alright, play the Wistful Selkie. Alright, so we have Kessel Wolf run for next turn. I think I just make a beast. Yeah. We'll draw all you witness, which is pretty good here. We can get Genesis Wave back. Uh, or Primal Command, I guess, for what it's worth. Alright, gonna throw the Wistful Sulky under the bus here. The biggest problem is our opponent gaining too much of life, I think. He's not been doing much, and he activated Tasker last turn instead of playing anything. So it makes me think that maybe we can get a chance to. Um, he, he, he witnessed the, the Genesis wave again and just try to try to generate enough board value that this crater hook just becomes overwhelming. That's what we're trying to get to right now. Does it give him trample? Yeah, it does, but it doesn't give him haste. A Gurmag Angler. Okay. And he's got enough left to activate Tacit Grid. All right. All right, play you witness. Get back Genesis Wave, I think. All right, what can I Genesis Wave for here? I can go, I can use this and have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So I think I can Genesis Wave for eight. I may as well. Opponent's certainly been acting like he doesn't have a counter spell. Now, of course, he may have drawn one, but we're gonna we're gonna put it to the test here. All right, x equals eight. If this resolves, I, ooh, it resolved very quickly. As a matter of fact, this was a better hit, <laughs> I think. I'd like to choose red, I guess, since it probably doesn't matter here. And we'll attach it to the same one. I'll click ores to attach them. Okay. Interesting, I chose a color before I attached it. And we get to gain a bunch of life. So things are going okay here. You know what, I can make a bunch of mana now that I have Nykthos. Problem is I don't really have anything to do with it. So I've used Garrick... Um, I can make enough mana to play Crater Hoof, but it's not good this turn. It might be good next turn, though. And we have a couple chump blockers as well. We can throw, you know, we can throw the Bird's Paradise under the bus. We can throw the Beast Token under the bus. I'm going to give my opponent a pa another Tassiger. Obviously, that doesn't seem to matter much. Okay, um, so this is going okay. We only have one Eternal Witness in the deck, which is unfortunate, but let's see what happens here. And he's just coming in with this again, so I'm just going to throw the Bird's Paradise under the bus. All right, I think the plan here is a Crater Hoof. He Lightning Bolted our Arbor Elf. That's fine. I have to see how much damage it is. I have to do some maths, but. It can be a big Kessig Wolf run, too. Okay, so let's see. If we just play Kessig Wolf run onto this board, or I'm sorry, Crater Hoof, we'll have six creatures. So everything is plus six, plus six. Uh, so that's a lot. Um, so we give everything plus nine, plus nine. So six times nine, that's math. 
1836, that's 54, plus 50, so 57, 59, 61, 63. So 63 plus a Keswick Wolf run for whatever that's worth. And our opponent has, so 63 is the number, and our opponent has 14, 17 to put in front of it, plus 8, so 25. So, oh my gosh. Okay, so we can do, I think, we can do 61, and my opponent, if he has no cards in hand that do anything, is essentially preventing 25 of it between blocking for 17 and gaining 8. So 61 minus 25 is 36. And my opponent's at 39. Um, is that correct? 61 minus, sorry, 61 minus 35 is 26. 36. Yeah, 36. Okay. So, 1, 2, 3. So, 3 plus 5. So, I think I can cast a full 3. And we have this, this, this Nick Ghost. Okay, so... Okay, so I think that this can work. All right, so first thing we do is cast the Crater Hoof. And this is perfect, because we then have enough to activate Nykthos, activate Kessig Wolf Run, and put it onto whatever creature he's not blocking. Now, all of this, of course, assumes that our creator hoof resolves and our opponent doesn't interact, which, considering it's three cards in hand, one of which is a Tassiger. Uh, so two cards we don't know about. We'll see. But I don't think it gets any better for us waiting. Opponent is thinking quite hard about this, huh? So he's going to snapcast or push something, so it's going to be a smaller bonus. Could be worse. <laughs> We're going to draw Genesis Wave, so uh, that's also pretty good. Alright, so Beast Token down. So that's there's changes in the math. Oh, I just did all that math, now it changes the math. Things are most certainly not as large now. However, God, this math is so boring. <laughs> I'm okay. So, I currently have 12, 19, 26. I have 36 in play. And I can add 15 and go to 51. My opponent can block 25. So I need to be able to add 13 damage with the Kessie Wolf run. And I have 1... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So this is going to activate for fourteen. This will. Oh wow! I think we actually might have enough. Okay, I'm going to give it a shot. I don't know if I did the math right or not, but we're going to find out. I know I'm tired of doing math, so I'm not doing it anymore, so. <laughs> Worst case scenario, we don't die and we get to fire off a huge Genesis wave next turn to try to get back in it. So it could be a lot worse. Yeah, my opponent's going to... Well, I don't know what he's going to do. It depends what his hand is. One of them's a tasker, so it really is going to depend on what his other card is. Okay, so this is a 13, and he's got... Okay, so I may as well go in for this. All right, we'll see if this works. It'll be sweet if it does. I 
Okay, not gonna. It's a a twenty seven thirteen crater. I'm not gonna do math. I'm just gonna hit F six and see what happens and hope my opponent dies. I can't even try to do that. We're gonna find out though. Combat damage step. Oh, minus one. We did it. <laughs> My opponent sent us a message. Oh, but I can't see it yet. I'll see it after this. I can't believe we got there. That was crazy. We beat the batter school. He could have blocked with a snapcaster, but we would have then had exactly lethal. So, all right, stay in school, kids. Do do your do your maths. It uh it helps. It helps. So, I don't know what I want here. I I like primal command because it's a stupid batter school. Um. But it already felt like we had a bunch of whiffs there on Genesis Wave. Oh, we can play Ancient Grudge. Probably just one, though. Because if, if we hit it off Genesis Wave, it will go into the graveyard. I also play Relics and play that game, but I think on the draw here, well, now that we're on the draw, he's just going to try to aggro us, so we just have to be fast. I'm gonna get rid of a lightning bolt. I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's correct here. It's weird because obviously our opponent has a lot of control elements, but also can just kill us. <laughs> my opponent said, "Wow, haha." Ha. Okay. Uh oh my gosh, this hand. Can no, no, it's so close. I don't think I'm gonna keep it, but it is tempting. It's a lot of e witnesses, but no lands, and our stuff's gonna die. Yeah, this is probably better. We have to find action, but we can probably do that. That's pretty good, considering I think uh, this this bird's paradise is going to get lightning bolted. Mm, opponent mulligan has serum visions. Okay, that's not a delver. We're going to have to draw well here, but we have a nice mana engine, so I think that that's a thing. Have to find payoffs for the mana, but wow, we're gonna untap with this. All right, so we're just clearly getting remanded here, so I'm gonna just Utopia Sprawl. I guess we just send a send a message here. Very important that you send a message always. Remember that. If you take one thing away from this match, remember to attack with your Birds of Paradise. I really expected it to die, I won't lie. This is not how I expected this game to go. Opponent is just clearly sitting on counter spells, I guess. I guess we just do nothing. Like, playing Eternal Witness to get back to land when we're flooding out anyways um, is not what we want to do. We want to draw action, make him counter it, and then try to E-Witness it back. Um, all of which would have worked a lot better if we, if our opponent actually interacted with us at all. Oh no, that's uh, that's pretty good. That's that's not great for us. Well, there it is. It turned late, but give it a shot here. Yep, there's our mand. Sure would have been a lot better last turn to make him make a decision between that Staticaster and killing our Garrick. Great. Very helpful. Um, okay, well. I guess the good news... Uh, where this is going to get countered. Uh, the good news is we have plenty of lands and our opponent's not putting us under any pressure. The, well, now we, now we are being put under pressure. <laughs> Our hand is just locked out because of a static caster. Which feels pretty bad. Okay. Is it static caster? Very good against our, our board. Now, Harmonize is actually a pretty nice one.
Alright, let's see if Garrick resolves this time around. Disdainful stroke. Okay. I could have been a witness for it there. Um, but again, we're not under a ton of pressure right now. So I didn't think it was quite correct to suicide it. Alright, here's the power scroll. Now it'd be a nice time to draw Ancient Grudge. Alright, let's harmonize. There's some Genesis waves. And a Corsair Crufix, which isn't bad. Alright, so we'll play the Corsair. Yeah, Primal Command's pretty good here. So really, the important thing now is that we have um, we have some mana, we have some Genesis Waves, so we we can see a path to winning if our opponent's not just sitting on the nuts over there of, of Disdainful Strokes and Mana Leaks and Snapcaster Mages. So we have the ability to win the match. Oh, he's attacking with Snapcaster, huh? Well, I will gladly block and eat a Lightning Bolt to my Corsair Crufix. Have to protect the life total here. All right, so I believe this is where we fire off Primal Command. Kind of want to gain seven life and put the Batter Skull on top of his deck. It'll also bait out uh, removal, I think, or a, a counter spell. It's that or go look for something in our deck, but I don't think we have anything great to go find. I realize this is kind of a nothing turn here. He can pick it back up to his hand, but yeah, see, it's we're gonna bait out the counter. Well, this is what we wanted to do because next turn we start firing off Genesis waves and hope that it's enough to get there. We had to get the counters out of his hand. Problem is, we go down to five. All right. Well. Oh, man. All right, here goes. Time to find out. It's not that big, but if we can get some blockers out there, it's five. I mean, we need a good five, but we also just have yet another counter spell and we'll be dead. Yeah, well, it's an opt. Not quite dead. He doesn't have a counterspell in the graveyard, so he needs to draw one. What did he do with this card? He... Ooh, we got it. Okay. Ah, oh, this is pretty good, actually. Well, I say that. It's not the worst, I suppose. We get some life out of it. And a blocker for Snapcaster Mage. And this is where I go ahead and play out a couple dudes. Um, because we can hopefully protect one of them going into our next turn. If not, we'll be able to get a new one that's up and going. Yeah, he'll kill one, and he either has to use the other one in his main phase, or I just block the germ token. Or, or he just has, like, lightning bolt and we're dead anyways. I mean... And I don't think... Uh, oh, he has terminate for the courser. So we go down to one here. Okay, well, it is what it is. Uh, obviously, if he has Lightning Bolt or Snapcaster, we're just dead. He has four cards in hand, so I assume the game is over. Yeah, it's just an atrocious matchup, and our opponent drew pretty well in those games. Uh, game one, he had the absolute nuts. No one would ever beat that. And game three, he drew pretty decently there as well. Um, but... That's how it goes. Our deck got to go off. We had a fun one. We beat <laughs> our opponent having like a billion life off a of batter skull. Uh, so that was good. So that was fun. Thanks for watching. We'll, we'll try it some more.